Okay, um, so stepping up from send mixer view, where the pot at the top controls one parameter per channel in the mixer, we press the exit, uh, which is the send mode button, a second time, and we go into sends channel view. And that is where all the pots on the top are controlling parameters for the sends for the selected channel only. And this works like the EQ. When you go into the sends channel view, the pots split into four. Okay, that's the first send slot, all four controls. That's the second send slot, all four controls. The reason they're blank, apart from the first one, which is the destination, which you, you, we've shown you don't want to use because you can rotate it but and then press to activate that send slot, but you've got no way of knowing which bus you're selecting, so leave that alone. Always leave the first pot alone. And you just use the next three pots in each cluster, which is send amount, this has a three-way position, right? In the center it's default, post-fade. Twist it a little bit and the LED flips around to fully counterclockwise and that's um, and the send slot turns green because you're now in pre-fade, back to post-fade and then fully clockwise, it just a little turn and it flips around to fully clockwise and now you're in pre, sorry you're in post-pan. Okay, so fully upright for the third pot in each cluster of four is post fade. This is the send amount and this is the mute. All right, simple. Now there are nothing. There's nothing displaying. I, I'm I'm in mean, sends channel view. There go the police. Let them go to their tea break. Sends is amazing. You hear these sirens between four and six o'clock. Where like, is there any crime at four or six o'clock? Uh, it, it's they just use their sirens to get through the traffic to go for their bloody shift change. It's ridiculous. Uh, okay. So like as I said, this is the first send these four parts because we send channel view controlling all the send parameters for just the selected channel. Okay. So the first four parts are the parameters for send to slot number one. The second four pots in page one are the four parameters for the second send slot and then you step up to the next page and you're controlling this is send slot three, all four parameters, send slot four, all four parameters, send slot five, send sl slot six, sl send slot seven, send slot eight. Okay. All right. So I'll put in a send, a second send into this first channel that we're, we've got highlighted, right? I send that to bus two. Okay. And now you can see the second group of four pots, which is the second sends parameters, have become active. Okay. Again, always leave the first one alone. Don't touch it. Uh, there's some way to knock it out. I wish it could happen, but. Okay, all you've got to concentrate on is the last three parts. So this is send slot one, because we're in the first page, and this is send slot two for the selected channel. So that's the send amount, that's post, pre, and post pan, if you that's that's post fade, that's pre fade, and that's post pan. So that one should be upright, and this is the mute. Either press oops, I've muted that channel by mistake there. Oops. My finger slipped off. That's the mute. You either turn it to mute or press it to mute. Okay, simple as that. That's send uh, channel view. So once you've gone into that send channel view, it's the same. I can then step to the second channel and I'm controlling, because I'm in page one, the first two sends, all four parameters for that channel. Now I'm controlling page one, the first two sends all parameters for this channel. Now for this channel. Now for this channel. Okay, so look, go back to the first channel. It's got two sends. We're on the first page in sends channel view. So these two clusters of four pots are working. Let me put on the second channel. I'll assign the, its second send also to bus two. Okay. So now I step to the second channel. And now we're controlling the first two sends on page one. That's send one and send two for this channel. That's the send amount. 
for the first send slot, that's the mute and unmute for the first send slot, and this is the second send slot, that's the amount, and that's the mute and unmute. And this part is the position, you know, whether it's pre or post fade or post pan. Okay, simple as that. And if you if you are using more than two sends, you step up to the next page, and then you're controlling send three and send four. If there is something um, installed in those slots, so we can unmute that one. I'll step up a up a page. I'm on this channel. It, and we're in page two of Send's channel view. But both these clusters of four pots are dead because there are no, we're on page two, which is Send three and Send four. And this channel doesn't have a Send three and Send four initialized, so I'll, I'll do that. Uh, send that to bus three. And this one to bus four. Okay, and now these have become active. So this is send 3, this is send 4 because we're in page 2 and that's the mute for each one. That's the position, the third part of each 4 is the position, pre, post or post pan. And that's the amount, the second pot. So you only need to worry about the first and second pot really. You know, you might occasionally switch something from pre to post or whatever. But it's really, if each cluster of 4, which is each send slot per page, it's the second and fourth parameters that you want to deal with. The level and the mute. Don't touch the first one. You press that and it will it will it will update that send slot to a different bus and everything will go haywire. Alright, so blank this first one completely. In fact what we could do, go back to page one and we if we we can customise those pots displays like we did for um, the plugins, uh, the EQ rather, to set the queue to a show a queue display, right? <coughs> if I bring up my preferences, control surfaces, controller assignments. Okay, so look, <coughs> we're in send channel view, page one, so this is, we're controlling the parameters for the first two send slots for this selected channel, number two there, just see it moving. Okay, um, if we twiddle this first part, there you go, look, vpot1 send1 one destination. Now just detick this text feedback and then change this to none. And now there's no display. Right Now twiddle the first pot of the next set of four pots which is send number two because one page one which is send one and send two. Twiddle that and detick text feedback and change this to none. Now we've got no display for that either. Now if you set it like that, that will be saved when you save your song and you know, it, 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 that, that gets remembered, okay? So um, just like it should remember it for the EQ. I mean, I've loaded this song several times since doing the EQ chapter. So if I go to EQ, just press it a second time, I'm in EQ channel view. I'm controlling the EQ for the selected channel. Page one, that's the first and second EQs. And so I'll step up to page two, and this is band three, and that's band four, and that's the Q. And oh, no, it hasn't saved it. Oh, but that's because I've reset my defaults. Okay, so you know. But if you haven't reset defaults, as I have, this would still be showing a Q spread spilling out from the pot. Okay. So, there you go. We've now knocked out that first control for each cluster. It's a bit easier now. Okay, so we're going to Sends Channel View. We're controlling the Sends for the selected channel. Okay, we're on page one, so that's Send Slot 1, Send Slot 2. Okay, so you just want to, like this blank pot is the beginning of that set of four parameters for Send Slot 1, because we're in page one, and Send Slot slots 2. So just, you've only got the three active pots now. Send Amount, mode, you know, and position, which is pre-fade, post-fade, post-pan, and the mute. Alright, okay. So that's Sends Channel View. Uh, yeah, um, you know, 
course you could do your dubs like this but the thing is when you're in sends mix of you um, and you're controlling the parameter on off here look change the parameter to mute then if I'm doing a dub and I've got the echo on send one and we're controlling send one then you know I can I can mute and unmute multiple sends at the same time so I can send me chaps out to the delay like mm, they're now playing so I can go I can have them muted and then unlatch the three these three channels which could be a keyboard guitar and whatever else and go mm, jack 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 and off again open jack, jack you've got to do it quick right so they're closed now okay so mm, jack 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 mm, jack etc right you can do multiple channels at the same time but if you go into sends channel view you're only controlling the sends for the selected channel so I can still do the dub effect but only for this channel <coughs> so I uh, I'll do it here we go That's the amount. remember we're in sends channel view page one so this is send one and that's send two that's the amount. And that's the mute. So I can dub that blip in and out. just dubbing in and out the send right on and off for the first send for this channel. If I wanted to dub in and out the second send it would be this channel so we'll dub it in and out like that and that's the amount okay off on etc right okay that's your sense channel view you should have that I don't need to over explain it um, and that's your lot, that's your four modes, okay. Um, so the next thing we need to do is look at the few little extras because there are some extras like it is possible to reset the faders to exactly zero, for example, in each bank of eight uh, by channel. Uh, so I'll show you a few extras now. <laughs> 